Holy cow, look at that sunburn! It's horrible! Look who it is, it's Piggy Wiggy! Hey buddy, did you get my invitation to my birthday party? We missed you, pal! Must have had something important to do, right? Like running circles? Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Stranded Deep! We're here on the home island, and I'm just doing a little organizing. Trying to stand up these crates to utilize less space on the beach than laying them down. This is a bit tricky. I mean, I love the physics of this game. You can just pick things up and toss them and drag them and all that. But it's not very precise. And that doesn't look right. Let's try to stand it up. Stra oh, see what I'm talking about? Maybe this isn't worth it. Yeah, maybe this isn't worth it. Besides, a pig might knock all this stuff down. Piggy Wiggy. When he bumps into stuff. Oh, there goes Holy Smokes. Holy Smokes is dinging. Holy Smokes is dinging. But do not be fooled by the ding. The ding just means the meat is cooked, but it hasn't been fully smoked yet. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Holy Smokes is calling. <laughs> Smoked, cooked, small meat. That's what we wanted. Yeah. All right, well, let's grab it off there. Grab all that smoked meat. And we're going to put it in our smoked meats crate. Just dump it right in there. Although, hold on a sec, because I think... Oh, we're hungry. Let's have a little bit. Let's eat... Let's eat a couple of the big ones. Mmm. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it is tasty. Oh, there goes beepy beeping at us. Everybody's beeping at us. So, yeah. And it is. What time is it? We should probably sleep. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. If we sleep now, though, yeah, let's just do it. So, good night. Going to bed. In our crappy little shelter, but that's all we got right now. However, we're going to make a new shelter. <laughs> uh, I didn't even make it into the shelter. I passed out right here in front. I guess I was more tired than I thought. 11 o'clock in the morning, not too shabby. What's today's date? June 1st! Hey, it's my birthday! <laughs> 11 days survived. 110 degrees! Holy smokes, the UV is very, very high. We're going to have to stay out of the sun today, otherwise we're going to get a sunburn. And you know what? I don't even know what the effects of the sunburn is. But I don't really want to find out. I have a feeling it's going to do something bad to us. So that's too bad, because I was just about going to say when I fell asleep... Um, I want to build a shelter. I want to build a shelter today, and I want to put it over in this area. And we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to chop down some trees and make some wood, uh, make some planks out of the the uh, the logs. Um, and I was hoping to do that today, but with the UV is super high. I wonder how do we make? Uh, let's bring up that crafting menu here. How do we make sunscreen? All right, I just looked it up, and apparently the aloe salve will prevent sunstroke for up to 12 hours. So we should make this. We have two aloe plants, don't we? And a coconut flask. How do we make a coconut flask? We need a coconut and lashing. Yeah, so we need to do this so that we can operate today and make our shelter. Oh, look at that. My, my skin is already getting red. <laughs> 111 degrees, super high UV. Let's grab... That aloe vera will make two of these things, and we're gonna save some of that aloe. Uh, coconuts! We got coconuts right here. I guess I gotta whack one. Pick it up, grab a lashing, and let's go do this in the shade. I need to cool down. I know, I'm trying, I'm trying to make the salve, but I can't. I need to cool down. Oh my gosh, look at that sun. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the shade though. I'm in the shade. All right, for some reason it's saying I don't have a coconut. Maybe I just need a regular coconut like this. Am I not in the shade? In the shade? Holy cow, look at that sunburn. It's horrible. All right, put this down and let's see if we can make this husk. Oh, there we go, okay, yeah. Let's make the coconut flask and let's make that aloe salve. Oh, I even carved in the coconut. It says salve, awesome. Let's apply. It's just what I need. Of course it is. It's just what the doctor ordered. Oh, look how pale I am now. So the sunburn is gone, and I have sunblock. It worked. We got sunblock. We can work today. Woohoo! Uh, all right, yeah. Let's go ahead and make the. I want to make a plank station, so we can make planks. I do have some planks here, so I want to grab these, 
And I believe I have some corrugated here, which, yeah, we're not going to bother with right now. Let's uh, close it. Oh, I need a hammer. Let's go grab a hammer. Let's grab the refined hammer because it'll be faster than the crude. I actually have two um, refined hammers. And now we want to make a plank foundation. And let's put that down right here. This will be the first foundation. And I'm thinking about going out this way with it. I don't know how big this place is going to be. Probably not very big. But I want to get something started. Because shelter gives a lot of comfort. Both emotionally and physically. So I think this would be a good idea. And how about right about that height? I don't want it too high. I don't want it too low. That looks good. All right, let's hammer away. All right, just about done. And I guess we're done. We're done. That's it. Now I can't, can I get up there? Maybe I can jump up there. Oh, I can. We're going to make steps up anyway. But I want to make another platform right here next to it and have the steps going up on this side. And this will be all of our kind of a work area. And this will be where the shelter goes. And I need a, we need a plank station. And in order to make a plank station, we need a whole bunch of stuff. Lashing, a wood log, four wood sticks, a crude hammer, and a refined axe. And I think it uses up those two tools. So unfortunately, we have to make a refined axe. And then it gets sacrificed in use. Which is kind of a stinker because those are nice and they're not easy to find or make. Let's grab that crude hammer. And to make a refined axe, we're going to need leather. And our current axe, I think. Hold on. Yeah, leather, crude axe, and also a stone tool. All right. And there it is. Refined axe. Voila! Drop it down. Pick it up. And let's grab the rest of the stuff. I need a lashing. And it said four sticks, right? Four sticks. And we need a log, which means we've got to chop down a tree. So let's drop that rock. And let's go chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. And I'm thinking we'll chop this one right here. Get it out of the way. Timber! Watch out, Piggy Wiggy! I thought that was Piggy Wiggy. It was just a coconut. <laughs> that would have been great timing if Piggy Wiggy walked by and got squished by the tree. So UV is still very high, but our sunblock lasts 12 hours. So we should get the whole day out of it. No problem. All right, let's break this guy down. With the smaller pieces. All right. I just saved the game and backed up the game files in case something goes terribly wrong here. Which is something that happens occasionally with an early access game, especially this one since it's the experimental branch. So I'm not taking any chances. But there we go. Plank station. Got everything we need. Oh, it's just a little thing. Just a little thing. I thought it was going to be bigger. Uh, there's an axe and a hammer there, you see? <laughs> so that's what happens to him. All right, let's put the playing station over here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I just don't want it too close to the shelter. We can always get to it anytime we need it right about there. Good. Yeah. So now all we need to do is stand next to it with some logs. And is that the only log? I guess so. But you got to put it down. And now we should be able to make planks somewhere in the menu here, in the crafting menu. Uh, yeah, there it is. So one log equals one plank. Really? That's horrible. That's a terrible return on investment. I don't like it. It should be more than that. Let's make another one. All right, so now we have five planks. And we can make another uh, another platform here. Why don't we do that right quick? Do I, I think I need another hammer, right? Where's my other refined hammer? I left it over here. There it is. Grab it. And now it's dark. Dang it. I wanted to do this in the light. But we had that sunburn issue earlier on. <laughs> Plank foundation. And it should snap right in. And I don't think you can rotate in this game. But I, I'm pretty sure it'll match up okay. I guess we'll find out in the morning when the sun comes up. Because I can't see a darn thing. Alright, let me just hammer in all these nails. And make sure it's nice and sturdy. And does that thing ever go away? I think she just turned like green in the center or just go away. That's fine, too. All right. I guess it's done. Although now we need stairs up. What does it take to make stairs? Or steps? Wood steps, one lashing and four sticks. Oh, we can do that. 
We can do that. Go away, menu. Oh, we have four sticks right here. Because I accidentally chopped up one of the logs into sticks. I meant to do that. It was all part of the plan. I love it when a plan comes together. There we go. Back it up a little bit. And we just hammer it in. Bang. Ooh, this is easy. I'm a professional. Stand back. Don't try this at home, kids. All right, are you done? It's done. It is done. Grab that lantern and let's walk up on our new shelter. Walk up nice and smooth. Oh yeah, look at this. This view is gonna be amazing. We'll put some walls here with some windows. And yeah, this is gonna be great. I can't wait to get the walls and the roof up. It'll be like home again. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. What time is it? It's 7.30 and right, it's still my birthday. So this is a pretty good birthday present, huh? Half a shelter. Well, not even half, but part of a shelter. All right, it's going on 8 o'clock right now, so it's still pretty early. We can get some more work done today. I'm going to go chop down some trees, get some more logs, make a bunch of planks, and then maybe we'll add to the foundation here. I think a 2x2 two two should be good to get started on. And then uh, we'll take it from there. And it is still my birthday, so I feel like, I feel like celebrating somehow. Can we make a cake? Coconut cream pie? Oh, man, we just need Marianne. She makes the best coconut cream pie, right? So just celebrating my birthday here with my friends, Batty, Gil, and Jill. Hold on. Uh, hey, you weren't invited to this party, pal. Sorry. And Piggy Wiggy's out there somewhere. I sent him an invitation. He's just going to show up fashionably late. That's how he is. But yeah, so no cake, but we do have, uh, well... Crabby Patties. <laughs> Next best thing, right? Ah, oh, delicious. And I think uh, I think I'll blow out the candle now and make a wish. Ready? I wish we could stay here forever with my friends and uh, never, never have to go home again to the hustle and bustle of uh, civilization and society and all that jazz and smartphones and yeah. Okay. Anyway. <gasps> okay. Great, so hopefully that comes true. And now it's time for bed. Oh wait, I'm not going to bed, I'm going to work. It's time for work, working on my birthday. That ain't right, but someone's gotta do it. I'm gonna go chop down some trees, get some wood, make some planks, and I'll do that all through the night. And then we'll be ready to go in the morning. <laughs> Look who it is, it's Piggy Wiggy. Hey buddy, did you get my invitation to my birthday party? We missed you, pal. Must have had something important to do, right? Like running circles? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, maybe next year, right? Okay. Uh, have a nice day. And here's Krabby Patty. Oh, Krabby Patty, I forgot to send you an invitation. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I'll get you next year, too. Holy smokes, everybody's out here now tonight. All right, I gotta get some wood. I had to make a new axe. I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. Hold your horses there, holy smokes. All right, let's kill that fire. And yes, indeed, we have some breakfast here. Perfect timing. Thank you, holy smokes. What time is it anyway? 7 o'clock in the morning, June 2nd, the day after my birthday. And the sunblock is still in effect, but it doesn't look like we're going to need it today anyway. <laughs> 12 days survive. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and have some batty. I killed this batty in the middle of the night. And you know what? We're going to have to get some kind of more sustainable food production going. And I'm thinking uh, that would be farming. So that's something we have to look into pretty soon. We can set up a farm plot and plant some like kawawa fruits and any other edible foods that we can find out in the wild. And that will be um, a nice supplement to our meat and protein diet. So we don't get diarrhea from all this uh, smoked meat. <laughs> we don't want to go through that nonsense again, do we? All right. Anyway, let's get over here and make up some planks. Here's all the trees I cut down last night. It's about three trees. Um, I don't want to chop down all the trees on our island because, well, they provide shade. They look nice. And I'm pretty sure that they do not grow back. And unfortunately, we can't chop down these big pines. They don't provide anything for you. You can't even interact with them. So I don't know if that's going to change in the future. Hopefully it will and we can have maybe a different kind of wood to play around with. Or just another source of wood would be nice, right? So I guess if we want more wood, we're going to have to go to some other islands and carry it back 
with us and that's gonna be a chore because check this out these things do not even stack anymore they used to stack three or four logs to one stack but now they're individual so that ought to be interesting getting them back here but we'll cross that bridge when we get there let's make our planks which is all the way down to the bottom here oh gosh these are not close enough some people say you just have to look at them let's see if they're right you're wrong uh, hold on. I gotta get the plank station and the planks in view. Okay. that That's working. It's working. Just make sure they're all in view, right? The uh, UI here can use a little loving. Unfortunately, you have to click on that every single time individually for one stinking plank. Let's just drop those for a second. Put this one in my hands. Just gonna do it the old fashioned way. And is it starting to rain? Oh, it's starting to rain! And I'd be more excited for the rain if it actually did anything for us, but it doesn't. It does not provide any water for us. We don't really collect it anymore. Our uh, solar still over there collects water right from um, dew. And it's super efficient, so we don't even really need rainwater. Hopefully that changes because I think it makes sense to have to rely on rain and collect it. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the old days, we had a uh, water collector. Let's grab a hammer. And let's build two more foundations right here. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. We got uh, we got some uh, seagulls here. They're good eating. Good eating. Uh, dang it. Actually, they're not good eating, but, you know, beggars can't be choosy, right? Uh, plank foundation. Here we go. No, no, no. Not over there. We want it right here. Hopefully, I can squeeze one in there. I don't know if the rocks cause problems or not, but I built away from the rocks because I thought maybe they would. Let's make another one. Uh, before we make another square one, what other options do we have here? We've got a wedge foundation option. Hmm. Oh, that's going to require two wedges. Wait a minute. Oh, three wood for one wedgie? Well, then it's going to be six wood just to complete this corner. When it's only going to take four to make a square. So why would I bother making the wedgie? All right, I'm not going to get fancy then with the wedgie. We're just going to go with this old square. Get more space this way. May not look as nice. Because I think you can get pretty fancy with those wedgies. But we're just going to have to go with uh, function rather than form. Looks done, I think. Yes. Up we go. Nice. It's a two by two. And all the planks are not going the right direction. But we'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> I don't think you can rotate in this game. I've looked it up so many times, I've never found a definitive answer. And the only way to get rid of that right now and try to match it up would be to destroy it and start all over again. You don't get any materials back in this game, unfortunately. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste those materials just... So we don't have any OCD issues. We're just going to have to deal with it. I think right now what we might do is, since it's only 1130, still got some sunblock on here. Let's go to uh, let's go to an island. Let's go to an island. I'm going to save it and think about which island to go to. All right, let's pick an island to go to that we have not been to yet. And that would be maybe that one right there at 310-ish. Yeah, 310. That's the way we're headed. Let's grab a quick drink. Fill it up. Drop it. And let's go. Uh, I guess I'll bring a jerry can. I don't want to run out of gas. So we're better off having it than not. Excuse me, Cod. Coming through. Let's turn Reggie around. It's a lot easier to get Reggie backed up in the water like this than it is to try to drive him out. And up we go. Start him up. I uh, can't get the compass out while driving Reggie, which is kind of a pain. But I do believe it was that island right there, right? 370? Uh, 310? 310. Ooh, look at that one, though. That looks like it has a lot of trees on it. Uh, let's stick to the plan. So we don't have a lot of time left in this episode. But let's see if there's any good wrecks here. And I will, of course, chop down some trees and bring some wood back. And we can make more planks and expand our shelter. But I'll do that mostly off camera. Oh, we got one wreck sticking up out of the water here. This looks like it's a pretty small island. I think all the islands have been shrunken, it seems. I remember some really big, big islands back 
in the olden days. But for some reason, they shrunk them all down. All right, we got a wreck right here. It's two wrecks. Uh, let's go check it out. There's actually three wrecks here. A buoy balls. Let's grab the buoy balls. Ooh, there's a sea urchin. We don't want to mess with that guy. Let's release the balls. There they go. We'll catch up to those later. Actually, better go grab some oxygen right now. <coughs> I don't see Dicky around. That's good. So, you can actually grab these buoy balls and, and they stack in your inventory. I didn't know that. I thought you'd had... I thought they were treated like barrels and tires. But nope, they fit right in your old pockets. All right, down we go. Watch out for that sea urchin. And let's go inside and see if there's any good loot. There's no loot here at all. I don't see a loot crate or anything. There's another urchin there. Hmm. Are there any holes in the hall we can go down and check out? Oh, gosh. Man, you really can't hold your breath very long in this game. There is a uh, some kind of a potion you can make. So you can breathe longer underwater. I don't know what the recipe is. But you need a special plant for it. We'll see if we can find one. Yeah, I don't see anything on this. I don't know how to get down in the hold. Uh, seems like... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Let's get to the next wreck. It's right here. We got one big wreck right here. And then it looks like another one there as well. And I think I just heard Dicky. Oh, yes, I did. There's Dicky. So let's bring Reggie up nice and close. In case we have to get out of the water fast. This Dicky the dolphin plays really rough. I don't think he can get up here anyway. This is a nice wreck. I like these wrecks. You don't have to actually go into water. <laughs> Well, for the most part. Uh, tarp, cloth is good, and I'm full? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you know what? We gotta go make landfall and put some of the stuff down. Dang it. Alright, let's go do that. But out of curiosity, I wanna see what's in here. Oh, look at that, a fishing spear. That's nice. Carburetor and another hammer. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back for this stuff. Let me go unload my pockets. Get on the raft dump stuff out of this island here and come right back out oh look at that huh Rockford Files style that's close enough I don't think Dickie can come over on this shore and man it's already getting dark sun's on its way down we got a tarp here I guess I really didn't need the gas oh dang it bouncy balls bouncing everywhere get over here alright let's try that again Ow. Grab the cloth. Fuel tank. I mean, we already have a boat motor, but I guess we can always make another one. Oh, there's tires here. Tires. we got to get those tires. We can expand Reggie the raft. Make him a little larger. Oh, this just goes right back out. Okay. It's right to the tires, in fact. Meant to do that. The tirees. Let those tirees go. Oh, I'm in a tiree. Now these you cannot pick up and put in your inventory. These you have to chuck. And they're heavy. But I bet I can get them over to shore. Oh, there's a door down here. What do we got? Any more goodies? Uh, no. Nothing. Nothing inside. Well, what a tease that is. There's nothing here. Maybe it's under these rocks. All right. I think it's time to get back. Oh, is that just a car? Get up! All right, yeah, it's getting dark, so I'm going to get the tires over to shore, and then we'll pick up right here in the next episode. So we'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.